Hey everybody, this is Seth at the LinuxMotion.org and today I wanted to go ahead and discuss the differences between the digitizers between the Apple iPhone AT&T GSM, the Verizon CDMA, and the new Verizon and Sprint iPhone 4S which has actually gone back to a GSM model as well. Um, quite a few differences though. Uh, before we move on, I want to go ahead and apologize for the quality of the video. I refuse to use Windows. I use Linux. Uh, the only camera I have that is working at the moment is a PS2 iToy and I'm using the built-in microphone on my laptop so again I apologize now. Uh, feel free to modify and edit this video. Alright. We have all three of the digitizers here. This here is a Verizon CDMA. This is a broken uh, iPhone 4S from a customer's phone and this is a broken uh, AT&T unfortunately I can't show you that the camera and the speaker are the same on this but I do guarantee you that the screen and LCD screens in all three of these are identical there is no differences um, the only differences in between these three screens is only the frame um, the AT&T frame this one here will not fit the CDMA or the 4S at all. It just will not work. Um, these corner tabs here don't line up correctly. Um, this corner tab here is on the side. I can get that in there. There we go. This corner tab here is on the side and not as opposed to the corner. Like Even this one here is actually not on the corner either. It's slightly up on the top. Um, the volume button side is different. And the this side here is very close to the iPhone 4S. It's extremely close, but they are slightly off. Um, the 4S tab in the back. Let me change those. AT&T frame is black. There we go. You can see there's the 4S tab in the corner. AT&T tabs on the top here. These do not line up. Those do not line up. And these back tabs do not line up. The AT&T is actually completely shifted forward and the corner tab is shifted back. So it's just not a option at all. Um, with that said, you're not at complete loss if you're on a budget and have ordered the wrong digitizer. Um, as you've probably heard, the screens are glued in to the digitizer. You cannot remove them. That is correct. But the frame does come off of these. And um, let me see. I don't have the greatest camera for doing this. Um, basically, if you use a heat gun, just like the one here and just work your way around the perimeter you can start here with your safe lift tools and you can pry here and up here as well the top and the bottom the frame will lift straight away from here on the sides you have to be very careful when you separate because the side of the screen, if you nick it, it will break. And the sides do not lift straight out of the case. You have to bend them slightly out of the way before they come up. And I'll show you how to do that here right now. And I've already taken this frame off once before as you can tell um, these frames are unlike the 3G's are lined in metal on the inside so they're a lot more durable they're a lot harder to break um, I don't believe anyone sells a adhesive kit for these if somebody were to do that they could make a killing I would imagine doing making those selling them for you know a buck two bucks online I'll tell you right now I'd buy a hundred of them at a time um, so that does prove that all three screens are identical the frame does come off 
you can switch the frame. So you're on a complete loss. We're just we need someone with a platter to do that. Um, now here's the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 4 CDMA. Now the iPhone 4S um, on the that's the volume side. Here we go. The iPhone 4 CDMA, the first iPhone 4 that Verizon got, did not have a SIM card at all. So they moved the tab directly to the center where the SIM card would be for some mid-frame support. On the new 4S, they actually went back to a SIM card again. So the tab, instead of being in the middle, has been moved back up like the AT&T phone has. Now, every single other location of these two are identical, except for, well, there's two that are not correct, but one is fixable, one is not. Um, all the corner tabs are good. Everything matches. Those are all good to go. Um, all the side tabs match, these match. That matches. The only two difference are these here. Um, on this one here, the bottom, on the CDMA, if you're putting it into a 4S, you can just clip this off. Just clip off this side one here, flush with the screen. And this frame bends outwards. So you gotta be careful not to nick the screen, but this frame bends. It is, like I said, it has metal inside. Gives you a little more leeway. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have the greatest camera. Let me try to show you here. This frame, as you can tell, I just that big gap between my finger and there is the frame bending outwards. So you can give yourself some working room there. Just careful not to go too far to separate the adhesive from the glass. But bending that outwards, you can get a pair of these side cutting dikes for cutting flush and bend that out with your fingers and just cut it flush with the screen and that will allow your SIM card to slide right in all of your volumes are lined right up everything lines up the only other problem which I discussed is this corner tab you're looking from the back side of the screen your top left corner tab it does fit in place and line up except for the hole as you notice the hole on the 4S, I really wish I had a better angle here. The hole in the 4S, you really can't tell, but it is wider. It is bigger. It's oval out deeper than this one here on the CDMA. That is just a smaller hole, and basically, if you just oval it out downwards, it will fit just like this one. So you don't need to clip this off. It can just a light dremeling. Um, you have all this space here from the tab here to your screen about a it's just a little over a quarter inch so you should just be careful it shouldn't be a problem and yeah that is the solution to the iPhone 4S digitizer replacement is just clipping that one off and that sums up the install of everything. If you did goof and buy AT&T, don't forget you can take the frames off and swap them if you have a way of getting them back on. They're so thin the adhesive just kind of comes off. It's no justice. They don't go back on. They don't stay when you put them back on, but it's just held on with double-sided sticky tape, so we just need the same thing. Anyways. And that wraps up the iPhone 4 digitizer differences. I hope this video helps out a lot of you. I went through complete and utter chaos trying to figure out the answer and solution to this. Um, with the help of one other website, which I'll mention in the links, the guy did a, has a great picture of the frames all lined up with each other. Um, he did not mention, however, the corner tab needing to be drilled out. Um, again, like I said, feel free to edit this video, uh, make a new one off of it, feel free to comment. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again.